What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in his mug. Today we're gonna finish our Bretonian Bowman painted in House Lannister colors. So this is what he looks like all finished up. And uh, let's go over the colors we're gonna use. So Corn Red is first on our list. Then we've got XV88. Karak Stone. Cadian Flesh Tone, Gehenna's Gold, Seraphim Sepia, Averland Sunset, and I believe that is it. So when you take a look at the model, the last thing we did was we put all the shades on, darken everything up, it gives some nice definition to the shadows and the um, all of the recesses of the model so uh, we're gonna pick it up from there and after giving the model some time to dry off I decided that the first color I wanted to repaint on the model would be I believe it's Cadian flesh tone we're gonna start by kicking up the skin tones a bit so just like we did with our house Stark Bowman we're gonna really try to try to stick to the uh, raised areas, the knuckles, the thumb, the uh, pointer finger on the right hand, and we're going to try to leave some shading in all of the shadowed areas, which is between the knuckles, the back of the hand, where the back of the hand goes into the wrist. That way we've got some nice pale skin on the front and some nice shading with the Raglan flesh shade. I'm sorry this bow is is blocking anything that I do I'm trying to paint the, the left side of this guy's face here. I noticed this about halfway through the video that no matter what angle I held it at there was no easy way to take a look at what I'm doing on the left side of his face. Hey, there he is. I think I noticed that there was some Rackarth flesh on his ring and pinky finger holding the grip, so I decided to uh, paint over it just a little bit thicker. Moving on, I think we're going to go on to XV88, which is going to be the color for the bow. Yeah, there we go. And we're also going to use Karak Stone. Oh no, what, what we're doing is we're not doing the bow, we're doing the guy's hair. So we're going to highlight up his hair now with a mixture of XV88 and Karak Stone. The tricky thing when doing hair, when highlighting hair, especially blonde hair, is at some point you're going to need to keep adding that highlight color. So I'm only doing two layers because I want to get through this guy pretty quickly, but if I wanted to take the time to actually uh, give this guy some detail, say if we were a character model, like a general or a lord, then what I would do would be to build steady, steady layers and get... Uh, get steadily lighter in those layers by adding more and more Karak stone and a little bit of white even but because I've only got a a little bit of time that I want to take with this guy I just did one highlight there and then we're gonna go back over in a bit with a uh, seraphim sepia to tie it down tone it down and make it look not so uh, slim shady bleached blonde but now we're getting onto the bow, and we're just using XV88 for this. Again, we're sticking to the, uh, the the more stretched out regions of the bow. Hitting up the sides here. And the back. Ok, 
Okay, now we're going to use Cadian Flesh Tone again. Just kind of picking up the details in, in his face. Carrack Stone. And with Carrack Stone, what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of frost the tips of his hair there. Just give it that nice little uh, frosted tip look. So you want to stick to the tips of all the hairs and paint along the strand rather than uh, from the side. Okay, it's looking pretty good right now. So we're going to add Seraphim Sepia now and we're just going to tone down the, the blonde Yep, there we go. Okay, now we're going to use Carrack Stone. This time what we're going to do is we're going to highlight up the bindings on his arms. And the bandage across his head, across his face. And of course, the wrapping around the bow. and the little stitching on his tunic. Okay, now we're gonna use corn red. And I'm thinning it down next to me so that I can use just a little bit of it to highlight up the colors. The red tunic, you don't want to go too bright with it, you know, you want to make sure it's a, a nice color, but, but you want to leave some of that darker red, the shaded red, in the recesses if you can. Yep, still following all of the lines and the shading of them. 
Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, we're adding Everland Sunset now. It's one of the last colors we're going to use, and we're really going to try to highlight the the raised and lighter areas, and just kind of stay away from the shaded areas of the yellow, whatever bib thing that he's wearing. Okay, so now that the House Lannister guy is just about wrapped up, what I'm going to do now is try to move on to one of the other great houses, possibly, or probably Baratheon, uh, King Robert's house. As we're finishing up with one of the last details we're doing is Gehenna's gold painting on the uh, emblems, like on his belt. But yeah, I think uh, House Baratheon is probably going to be next for the Bowman. And we're slowly working our way up to um doing a night we'll do a night next of each house and then we'll come back and we'll finish up with the footmen all right so thanks for watching please stay tuned to the channel don't forget to check out my studio or bossetaystudios.com